Um, I hope everybody's keeping well. So I just want to talk. Um, there's two issues today related to the schools. Um, I'm going to talk about because you know the school. Like let's be honest, the whole school system at the moment. Last year it was fucked. Um, this year it's mighty fucked. Um, forgive me for my language, but <laughs> no more folly on the school system. Um, it's not. It's not turned out too well. Let's put it that way. But yeah, anyway. So the school secretaries and caretakers. We're supposed to go on strike yesterday. Um, and the thing that's unfair about particularly secretaries and school caretakers, you know, they could walk during the summertime. Like, I know secretaries that had to go in during the summertime because they still have to do paperwork and things like that during the summer, like principals, deputy principals, and the secretaries too. These things happen and they're getting things fixed in the school, or X, X, Y, and Z. Um, and they have to apply. When the, for the, when the school year ends um, and it goes into the summertime, um, secretaries have to apply for their social welfare. They have to go under social welfare and to the end of the year and to the end and to the next term. That's what I'm trying to say. They don't get paid, they only get paid social welfare, which is not fair. fair. Um, and the same with really caretakers too to get the social welfare. They don't, they don't get paid by the state directly when, they, when there's no school on, if that makes any sense. Like teachers get paid all year round during, you know, during the summer holidays to get paid throughout it. Um, easy money as some people would say but um, you know caretakers and you know, secretaries particularly when, when I used to go to my secretary school there was only four of them for a big school of nearly 800 nearly 900 students um, you can imagine how daunting that was especially with the COVID and things that that was, that was very daunting I'm showing them um, and again you know these women you know, don't get as much as the teachers and they don't get really the fair treatment um, they did do a strike I think one year um, a few times a year ago or so um, and they were right to do it, you know, because they, you know, they get very little takes at the end of the day from the school, from the school community, I suppose, from the wider public too, for what they do. Um, because there's very few, again, there's very few of them. And they have a lot to do, especially because, again, 800, 900 students was only four of them. They did take on one extra uh, caretaker. Um, there's five caretakers used to be my school, for example. For a school, you know, the size, there was nearly, uh, how many classrooms were there, say? Say a good 50, 60 classrooms. Um, if you add the SNA you and you add the office, you add the offices, you know, different offices, you add the M office, you, have, you add the gym, you add outside, you know, it's a lot for five caretakers, it really, really is, it's a lot of work for them. Um, especially in the big school community, it's very big and it's, it's very wide and in the corridors and you have, you know, it's a lot of work, it's not easy, Um, you know, for five caretakers. Um, especially when they're all you know, split up, you know, to do different things, they're not directly focus on one area um, but again this is the thing it's not fair and I'm sure you would agree and again the strike was deferred um, the, the union um, well, they technically do have a union um, the caretakers and secretaries they technically do but again I don't know the name of the union um, but the, obviously there was some kind of talks um, that deferred the strikes because they were going to go on strike and it only was announced yesterday they weren't going to go on strike um, but again, they should get paid. They really should get paid through the uh, through the summer, the same as the teachers. Not as obviously not as much as the teachers, um. But they should get paid, and they should be given a bit extra. Because again, I know even the caretakers when I was in school, they used to stay after school, and um, they used to, have to sanitize all the desks, you know, etc., 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 um, in all the classrooms. That took a long, long time. That really, really did take a long, long time for them. But I know one of them would have to go home at eight o'clock. Um, eight o'clock. So when we go home at one four o'clock, um, you know he'd be there for another few hours until eight o'clock, and he'd be locking up the school at eight o'clock, uh, and then he's in early in the morning. He's in at half six every morning to open the school and to you know, check the school to see is everything okay. Is so no pipes busted or anything that again? That's it's not easy. Again, you think, but that's a long day. There's a long day, and you get very little for it. Um, you know that's not easy. It's not an easy walk. Um. So, you know, they should be given fair treatment, the same as ever. But school secretaries and caretakers, again, if you didn't have them, again, I know for a fact that if the school care secretaries, for example, weren't in the school, the school would just collapse. Um, because they had the keys to everything. They knew where everything was. They had all the paper, that all the stuff in um, storage rooms. That the, oh, they knew where all the stuff was. Um, they answered all the phone calls and everything. That they, any time we were looking for anything, we needed to sign out to go home or whatever. They were the people we had to talk to. <clears throat> and if they weren't there, it would be chaos. And the same with the caretakers. Like, I remember one time, I think the majority of the caretakers were off sick. I think they were off sick. I don't know why. It was during COVID times. 
Um, and all of them they were scheduled to get any of them win that day. I think maybe one of them came in in the morning. Um, I don't think it had anything to do with COVID, but I think they were just sick. Um, or maybe it was a strike, or I, I didn't know at the time, but um, but the, you know, basically, you know, the, 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 the bins in the corridors, you know, they overflowed, basically, they were overflowed for that day. Um, and obviously I had to go, I, I don't know myself, I took it upon myself to, um, to make sure, you know, to, to empty the bins and to, to bring the bags into the, put the bags into the skip. Um, well, not really skip, it's kind of a big bin, I suppose, at the back. But again, you know, if you didn't have them, you know, you would, that would be the situation you'd be in, because I don't, I hardly let the teachers would have done that. Um, but yeah, because, you know, because it's not easy, it's not easy, especially when there's a huge amount of people walking up and down the corridors, you know, it's a big school community, it's not a one or two people in the school. Um, but yeah, I just talk about that, I, just, I say about that, I talk about the CO2 monitors and that bloody shenanigans, the normal folies pulling. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching, take care and bye.